Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I appreciate you visiting and hope that you will like and share this video. You can find my blog at jeanspaperjewels.com along with my 24-7 uh, Stampin' Up! store. So today I'm going to show you an easy fun fold called the book binding card. I have several samples to show you and we'll go into them into more depth after I show you how easy it is to make them. They are just made with a half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper cut in half and you can use any paper you might have. I'm using all Stampin' Up! products today. So start with your piece of cardstock that is half of an eight and a half by 11 cut in half lengthwise. So it will measure four and a quarter by 11. That's the base of your card. Now you can either use your scoring tool or your paper trimmer with a scoring blade. I'll take out my scoring tool here and you are going to score this twice. You're going to score it at four and a quarter and five and a half. Now, when this is all said and done, you will have a, an A2 size card. So it fits in a medium envelope. So here we are, we score at four and a quarter and five and a half. Then simply fold and burnish on the score lines so that you get some crisp folds, burnish them with a bone folder. If you put your cardstock up in the corner of your scoring tool, you can get a, a smoother or a more even fold most of the time. So you want to score it like that and like that, both score lines. Where it's scored in half, you will glue it together with your favorite adhesive. So let's, you can use glue, score tape, any, any adhesive that's your preference. And what you do is score this middle panel. After you've scored the middle panel, then that's where you glue it down. Okay, I am using snail, not snail. I'm using stamp and seal plus, and you just adhere that panel down. And that's what gives you the book bind binding part of the card. Now for the front of the card, you're going to want something to decorate it with. So your first layer, of course you can modify this if you want to and put more layers on it, but I have chosen to use a piece for the side that measures one inch by four inches and you simply glue that down. And then the main part, a matching piece that measures four by four and you glue it down. Now, if you're using darker cardstock, you're going to want to put a panel in the middle, like I did for, uh, on the inside, like I did for this one. And I also added just a little piece of leftover paper to this one so that I could make it a gift card holder. So that's all there is to the book binding uh, fold. You can put ribbon around the outside. You can do some um, dry embossing like I did for this one. Just lots of possibilities. Decorate it however you want. So the layer one for the side is one by four. The main one is four by four. If you have darker cardstock, put a four by four on the inside. Now let's take a closer look at these cards that I have already made. This one 
is made with the Let's Set Sail bundle. It has the stamp set and the matching sailboat punch. Now, all I did for this one is punch out the sailboat with Knight of Navy. This paper is the New Horizons paper that is available in the 2022 mini catalog that is going to expire soon. So if you want, like this on the horizon paper, then better get it while they have it. And then I just tied some linen thread around the outside. I stamped the sentiment there, the birds. The paper is already like that, so it's pretty just as is. And then like I showed you, I did the inside of that one. The next one I have uses the cup of tea bundle. Now this cute bundle is already on back order, but it comes with the stamp set and dies. I used one of my in color doilies that's retired and used the white side of it for this card. And the paper is the matching tea boutique six by six designer series paper so the inside i just put a strip of leftover and didn't have to put a panel on the inside because it's already white easy to see to write on it okay the next next one i did is this pretty card and it is made with the Waves of Inspiration bundle. I think my favorite stamp is this uh, Pelican. And then the clouds can be cut out with the, uh, with the matching Waves of Inspiration dies. And then the Happy Birthday, there's a, a nice die that has holes in the end that you can attach twine or ribbon. And like I said, I went ahead and embossed the background of this one, used cardstock instead of designer series paper. And then the inside, I stamped one of the waves in pool party on that four by four panel for the, for the inside. Okay, and the last one I did uses the cheerful basket bundle i didn't use the basket but i used the little kitty and the hearts and the sentiment and these dies come with uh, the dies to cut out the main images and much more they also come with extra leaves a little napkin doily type thing and then some cherries or apples the little kitty is just precious. This is retired paper that I used for this one. And then I just put a strip on the inside. So I hope you've enjoyed my book binding cards today. They're very easy to put together. Use them for any occasion. And once you get started making them, you'll never quit. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for joining me. See you next time. Bye.